More in Latin America, our correspondent in Ecuador, Liz Charfies, has the story on opposition plans to continue on the government protests that despite President Rafael Correa's call for dialogue and peaceful debate. Opposition leaders are meeting to discuss the future actions they will take against the government of President Rafael Correa. The National United Collective of Workers, Indigenous and Social Organizations, known as Sido Kut, met to evaluate the marches of the past month, common demands and begin defining the date for a national strike. On the 18th, we will possibly announce the national strike. We picked this date for the announcement because the 17th and the 18th is the National Assembly of Konai. We are respecting each of the organizations that make up this block. We can move forward with the date until all sectors have met the objective of the meetings within their own organizations. The National Dialogue on Wealth Redistribution and Social Equality has encouraged the participation of all sectors of society, but the opposition continues refusing to enter the debate. A manual by Jean Sharp on soft coup tactics used to overthrow regimes was cited by President Correa as being followed by the opposition in their attempts to destabilize his government. In Ecuador, we can take this manual and look at how its phases are applied with exact times, months, with dates because they have been using it constantly. President Correa said that the government still counts on the support of the armed forces, despite rumors put forward by opposition media which suggested otherwise. Meanwhile, he has warned citizens of tactics used by the opposition, such as constant mobilizations and the creation of incidents, as being part of this manual. Nobody said this was going to be easy, but we cannot lose our happiness. We need to be more alert than ever, because these people will continue. And what they are following is the manual of soft coups. Everyone needs to be aware of this. We should all know what is happening in the country to know what we are up against and to be ready to defend our revolution. Citizens have been warned that conditions for a soft coup are being set by the opposition. While the national dialogue is reaching out to increasingly more sectors across the country, the opposition has said that in the next week they will formally announce the date of the national strike and will continue marching. Leo Sherpius, Ecuador.